All right, brothers and sisters, continuing with our five C's of our bug out bag or emergency preparedness bag. Uh, the first part's cordage. What, uh, what I want you to take away from cordage is, this is just your basic Walmart type paracord. You can pick this up at any Walmart in the camping section. It's very handy. It's got several strands of, of cordage inside of it so you can break it apart and have actual more cordage. Uh, but the interesting piece that I wanted you to take away from this is uh, this is what I call my bushcraft come along kit. Now what I do with this is you have basically a snatch block which is just a pulley to double the torque. Uh, you have this you use with a wrench. This is a turnbuckle and as you tighten it, it pulls in together. Uh, it's not going to travel for a very long distance, but this is a backpack kit, remember. So this is a force multiplier. So even though it seems like something that's a little bit... Um, cheesy, it's really going to aid you in heavy objects. All right, brothers and sisters, on to cover. Cover element can be many things. Um, it can be something as simple way down here as a, a Mylar space blanket, emergency space blanket. It could be something as simple as this emergency poncho. Um, moving up the ladder just a little bit, this is a painter's drop cloth. Uh, it's actually plastic. It's a very large piece of plastic. can be used for multiple pieces. The trash bag here we're going to get to in just a moment. You can also take a, hi a hiker's tarp. Or you can run the full length here and you can get a 10 foot by 16 foot as we've got here uh, actual tarp. Uh, the point to this is, this can become shelter from rain, this can become a tent, this can be uh, a temporary housing as the tent, this can provide a little bit of um, security as far as privacy. Um, many things that you can use this for, the, the basic that I need you to take away from this is, you cannot survive outside, whether it be extreme heat or extreme cold, for very long without having some form of cover element. Now, 55 gallon drum liner trash bag. Something that seems so simple and seems so useless other than taking out the trash is actually one of the key components of your entire emergency bag. This can provide you with a container for water. This can provide you with a temporary sleeping bag. This can provide you with a tent. There are videos all over YouTube that can tell you the different ways you can use a 55 gallon drum liner trash bag in an emergency scenario. It's so simple it can be folded up and put into any pocket, especially a, a cargo pocket on a pair of cargo pants. Uh, the point is if you don't have any of these others, at least have a 55 gallon heavy duty trash bag drum liner. items here that I'd like you to have an understanding of. On one side, you're very familiar with the Bic, Bic lighter. Everybody uses them. Um, everybody's known about these since the 70s or 80s. Uh, on the other side here, we have what's known as a ferro rod or a ferro serum rod and a striker tool. The striker tool is important because a lot of people tell you you can use the back of your knife, but the point is you don't want to use your knife for tasks until or unless you have to. Uh, this will provide sparks so that you can you can light an ember. This is fire all in one. What I'm suggesting to you is to have a combination of both of these for short-term and long-term solutions. Short-term solutions, you can't go wrong with a Bic lighter. The downside to a Bic lighter is it's a non-renewable source of energy. It's going to run down. The fuel is going to run out at a much quicker pace. Now, you can still strike. It still has a striker similar to the ferro rod inside, so it's still going to be able to strike long after it runs out of fuel. The ferro rod is a much larger version of that striker. It's still going to run out eventually. You'll run out of material, uh, but it will last much, much longer, especially on one this large. They do make smaller ones, such as these. And I might would recommend these for a pocket kit, but I would not recommend these to take the place of this one. Whether weight matters or not, you want the larger one for the longer term solution. 
The point is to have a good fire, uh, ferro rod and to have a good, reliable lighter. And I would not suggest having uh, one of those um, Zippo type lighters because they do leak fuel much quicker and lose fuel much quicker than one like a big.